Too Good To Be True, The Colossal Book of Urban Legend by Jan Harold Brumband. Chapter 11, Strange Things Happen, Legend Number 8, The Ghostly Videotape. CGK Folklorist, tell me what you heard about the man and a baby, Virginia, we saw it, Kim. Oh yeah, the ghost, Virginia. There's a young boy standing behind the drape. Kim. Yeah, Jimmy's got the tape. Jimmy? Are they at Hogwarts? <laughs> <laughs> we can show it to you, Virginia. They say that the apartment where they filmed the movie, that boy lived there. Kim, the lady that rented the building out of them to make the movie, her son shot himself there. CGK, shot himself? Virginia, they say in another part of the movie you can see the rifle that they didn't know was there, the gun he used. CGK, did you see the gun? Virginia, they haven't looked yet. Kim, the only reason I saw the boy is because somebody told me exactly where it was. I never saw it. I watched like, um, I watched like three times before that, and I never noticed. You can see him real clear. I don't see how I missed it. CGK, what does he look like? Virginia, he looks like about a 13-year-old. 14 year old boy, Kim. He was about 13, and he had dark hair, and he was standing. There was like a window. <laughs> there was like a window, and he was standing in the curtains, like standing in between the curtains. They interviewed Ted Danson. And they asked him what he thought about it. He said it scared the shit out of him. He said he didn't notice it. He said that he didn't notice it. He didn't see it there until they were watching the movie. CGK. How did it get past the editors? Virginia. That, that's what was weird about it. They didn't see it when they edited it. Kim, the mother of the, the mother of the little boy saw it, and she said that's him. Virginia, do you think it's a plant? Kim, I can't. Well, it might be. Virginia, what I don't understand is though, why the people at the movies didn't catch it. First run, nobody ever caught it. Nobody ever noticed it. Kim, I didn't catch it. I watched it a bunch of times and I didn't see it until somebody told me it was there. It's just like in the background. I can see how they missed it. But he's just staring at them. I mean, I turned the movie off. I turned it off. And I came downstairs with everybody else because I was watching it up there. Laughter. CGK. You can see his face. <laughs> Kim. Yeah, clearly. From Charles Greg Kelly, that's CGK. Three men and a baby and a boy. Three men, a baby and a boy behind the curtain. A tradition in the making. Midwestern Folklore, Volume 17. Page 6 through 13. This is the text, L, on pages 12 to 13. Collected from Virginia Jameson, an art supply store manager, and her daughter Kim, a high school senior, Birmingham, Alabama, November 17, 1990. This transcription of an interview is a fine example of the discussion mode of transmitting urban rumours and legends. Nobody actually tells the story. 
but instead they talk it over. In the summer of 1990, shortly after the 1987 film Three Men and a Baby was released on videotape, people noticed a shadowy figure looking like a young boy that appeared briefly in the background of one scene. Videotape allowed viewers to search for and freeze the frame with the image, options not available in a movie theatre. The rumour quickly spread that it was the image of a boy who was killed or committed suicide in the apartment in which the scene was filmed. The film's producers, the Touchstone Pictures division of Walt Di- of the Walt Disney Studios, explained that the image was a cardboard stand-up cutout of actor Ted Danson and that the New York City apartment was actually a soundstage in Toronto. Of course, it would have to be filmed in Canada if it's set in New York. (laughs) Come on. Why don't they just film in New York? In further versions of the story, new details emerged, including the suspicion that the ghost may have been planted as a publicity ploy by the film's distributors. Some people also claimed to have seen the boy's mother interviewed by Barbara Walters on 2020. Another factor to consider is that spectral images and photographs have been described in traditional legends almost since the invention of photography. In some strange way, this old motif was recycled to fit a new situation. And that was the legend of the ghostly videotape. Next time... It will be the man in the middle. Until then, thanks for watching. I hope you weren't too scared.